Hello, my name is Courtney Berg and I'm the Executive Director of Girls on the Run St. Louis. I wanna thank you for taking the time to be with us today. I do hope that you and all of your loved ones are safe and doing as well as possible. I know that this has been an incredibly challenging year in so many ways and for our Girls on the Run in particular. And so for that reason, we have really committed to staying focused on her on our girl on the run because we know that strong girls is a strong future and so what does that look like well this fall we have ensured that every girl can access this transformational program because in a time where she's feeling alone not connected to her peers or trusted adults perhaps we want to know that she has that opportunity and so by providing girls on the run this quality social and emotional curriculum that integrates physical activity, she has access to that. As one of the top programs in the nation, we are ensuring she can have access to it. And so this fall, we have transformed our program to ensure that she can do that safely in person or virtually. And the feedback we're getting is incredible. I don't have to tell you that the research is there saying that this time, this pandemic, is having a serious toll on our children, particularly our girls. And so it's because of that that we have committed to finding more partnerships with schools, with the Boys and Girls Club, the Ferguson Teen Center, so many more, because she needs us and we're here for her. And so what's happening is outstanding results. Girls and their families are reporting higher rates of self-esteem, better connection to peers and adults, and a sense of being able to make a difference in our community. And in this challenging time, I feel like she can communicate her emotions, maybe feel safe for a bit. So thank you, because that matters to all of us in this community. Because again, strong girls is a strong future. My name is Bob Harrison. I'm chairman and president of a wonderful century-old insurance bro brokerage firm in St. Louis and Chicago, the Daniel and Henry Company. I'm also honored to be part of the board leadership for Girls on the Run St. Louis, a position I cherish, and I thank you for tuning in. Some of you are likely just now learning about the organization, while others of you are some of our most important supporters. We'll take just a few minutes to share with you why we feel so passionately about Girls on the Run. My personal journey with Girls on the Run began almost two decades ago. But over the years, I came to learn what Girls on the Run is really about. Not the race, but empowering young girls to take charge of their emotional and physical well-being. Both of my daughters, Ellie now 24 and Grace now 22, were Girls on the Run in grade school and in middle school. My wife Sally helped coached in some of those seasons and now volunteers as part of Team Adelaide. She would agree with me that our favorite part of each season is helping hang finisher medals around every girl's neck as they cross the finish line of the 5K. It's, obviously, it's obvious that Girls on the Run program has a profound impact on those who are fortunate enough to participate. The data will tell you that a girl who participates in just one season is changed for be the better forever. My ask is that you think about getting involved in Girls on the Run in some manner, and I hope this video provides you an inform informative introduction. 97% of our sites have girls who receive some scholarship from us. Donations from individuals and companies allow us to deliver this program to many more communities than would have otherwise have access. And I'm most certain that you are asked to support many worthy organizations, and I thank you for considering ours. Also know that Girls on the Run is one of the few organizations with YOP or Youth Opportunity Program tax credits, and they're available to any person or entity with Missouri tax liability. These tax credits are 50% of your gift, which can allow for you to be more generous. Thank you again for listening and tuning in. I like Girls on the Run this season because I'm the only girl in my class, and it would be nice to have some girlfriends if I only have a girlfriend in basketball in like my other school. So it's pretty fun to make some new friends. Hi, my name is Cassandra Quinney, and I'm a community coach with Girls on the Run. I first became familiar with Girls on the Run spring of 2015 when I signed my daughter up at her school, Kennerly Elementary. 
I was so amazed at the things that she was learning, like self-confidence, self-awareness, and how to activate her star power. It was in that moment that I decided to find out more about the organization and how I could become involved. 2016, I signed up to be a coach, and as they say, the rest is history. 10 seasons later, it is by far one of the best decisions that I ever made. Then comes 2020, and COVID-19 turns our worlds upside down. In the midst of all that was going on, it never crossed my mind that I would not coach in this season. Our girls needed us more than ever, and I wanted to be there for whomever I could in whatever way that I could. So of course I signed up to be a coach in our first ever virtual Girls on the Run season. I've never coached a season where I did not leave a better version of myself than when I started. And so rings true for the girls. The Girls on the Run program offers so many amazing tools for the girls, such as pressing pause when their emotions are running high. It teaches them how to work as a team in an environment where everyone has a different perspective. And it also shows them areas where they can work to become a stronger person. That goes so in tune with our theme for this season, Strong Girl, Strong Future. The Girls on the Run program offers tools for us to help our girls to become stronger so that their futures are stronger. So on this Giving Tuesday, we're asking you to help us continue to infuse the world with strong girls, strong futures. Thank you for considering Girls on the Run St. Louis. We sit in this amazing place of an urgent need for Girls on the Run, an urgent need to provide quality and truly accessible social emotional curriculum. And we're also incredibly relevant for girls. All of our curriculum is based in adolescent brain development. It's meeting her where she is at today, even in this pandemic world. And so with that urgency and the relevancy, Girls on the Run is ready. And I encourage you to please consider being part of it. She needs you, she needs us. And that can all happen with a gift to our scholarship fund. The gift of $1,000 or more is also qualifying for youth opportunity program tax credits or YOP tax credits, providing a 50% tax credit for anyone with Missouri tax liability. And for Girls on the Run, what that allows us to do is to serve more girls today. With that gift, we can ensure she has access to this program she can feel safe, connected, and know that she is capable of so much more. So together we can do strong girls for a strong future. I encourage you to visit girlsontherunstlouis.org to learn more. And I thank you for being part of Girls on the Run.